Hey, this is Chris with Behind with another early morning walk and doing a little podcasting as I walk. Um, hey, I was thinking about this. Um, I'm a Christian, and it's funny because with Christians, Halloween has always been kind of a iffy proposition. Uh, a lot of people and uh, some people who have taught me uh, in faith growing up was like, oh, Halloween's bad. Don't participate. You're letting Satan in and everything. Um, what percent different alternative to you? Um, I think growing up, I was able to participate in Halloween where I dressed up as somebody. Maybe somebody I wanted to be growing up. Maybe, you know, as a farmer or something like that. Dressing as, a, as somebody and pretending, there's nothing wrong with it. It's kind of fun. Um, if you're a parent, you know, maybe it's a way that you can start to figure out where your kids want to be when they grow up. Uh, there's a lot of lessons. There's a lot of fun things that could happen. Um, maybe, you know, a kid dresses up as what their mom or dad does for work. And, you know, you, there's a lot of good lessons to be taught there. What's wrong with that? Um, I think we're, I get a little bit more iffy. I think where everyone has to make their own personal judgments is when it comes to, like, horror movies or when it comes to, you know, some of the scary blood stuff. I don't participate in that. It ain't my thing. I'm, like, personally comfortable with it. If you feel differently, I'm not going to judge or anything. But that's where, to me, things get a little bit more iffy. Halloween, if you're dressing up as somebody, it's fun. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, But when things get a little darker, that's where I think you got to be a little bit more careful. But, again, you got to go with where you're comfortable at and uh, what you feel is important. I, I don't think there's any super big absolutes when it comes to how you take part in Halloween. Uh, just keep it pure. If you're doing something that makes you feel ugly or makes you feel different, maybe that's a sign it's good to back away. But just dressing up as Halloween or going to a trunk or treat or taking your kids uh, for candy or letting your kids eat candy, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. Um, I I think, not just politically, but as Christians, sometimes we get so wrapped up in these culture wars that we end up looking a little silly. Just a couple thoughts this morning. Thanks for checking out Ohioan. Subscribe, tell your friends about it, and uh, stay tuned for our big shows that we're taping on Wednesday nights uh, where we talk football with Peter Holland. Uh, We do some pop culture and Seinfeld talk with uh, Laura Kessel and Craig Schaub. Uh, and also the Etc. show with um, myself, uh, Joe Frost, and um, Paul Yanchek, as well as our weekly Steelers talk. Um, check out all those shows and please share with your friends. Thanks for listening to Ohioan. Hi, I'm Jennifer Mooney. Welcome to what is our new Hope Interrupted podcast based on the work from our book, Hope Interrupted, that I co-authored with my good friend Byron McCauley. Hey, Jennifer, you know, I'm looking forward to this podcast as much as I was looking forward to writing this book with you. We hope to interview some uh, high impact folks as well as have a little fun. We're going to cover stories of hope. To learn more about our podcast and our book, please visit www.hopeinterrupted.com.